This is a review video of one of the best from Corsair, the Shimitar MMO mouse, with comparisons drawn from Logitech's best, the MX Master, and I'll be holding a hammer in this video. This video has been sponsored by Enchanted Films, the premier provider of video production services. First, let's have a look at the Shimitar. It comes in a box as you can see. The front has a flap inside which the mouse can be seen. Once out of the box, we can see some more attributes of the mouse such as a well-decorated USB connector, the braided cable and the underside of the mouse. Here we can see there is a metal panel right at the center framing the optical sensor. The purpose of which is undefined by Corsair at the time of making this video. Visual, perhaps. Only if someone picks up the mouse and looks at the bottom. And the three lines that you see equally has no mentioned purpose. The hex screw that you see locks the position of the thumb keys. If you don't have spare allen keys, keep the provided one safe somewhere. There is no onboard storage to do so. Moving on to the shape of the mouse. It's on the large category of mouse. The grip does feel nice, but it's not perfect. Let's start with the ring finger rest. I'm glad it's there, full credits. The ring finger really does rest there rather naturally, but Corsair had to go and give it this design texture. It kind of feels like touching Braille. Could have done without. Now. This is where Logitech comes in. They did this geometric pattern for the thumb wrist. Neither of these are okay. The next thing is the edge above the thumb keys. Looks great, a sharp line. And that is the word right there, sharp. There is no thumb wrist like the MX Master. So either we have to keep our thumb positioned on the keypad or let it drop. If we do that, um, when the mouse is moving, there is unwanted rubbing with the mouse pad. So inevitably, the finger goes to the edge to rest. Now, the steps that I mentioned does not happen in three seconds, but rather hours. We are expected to use the mouse for some time and placing the finger on the edge for an hour is an unpleasant thing. Our finger is by most part a smooth thing and it likes to be placed on surface that conforms to its shape without things poking out or sharp lines or anything that will cause unwanted sensation. With regards to the comparison, MX Master has a thumb rest. Shimitar has ring finger rest. Easily, the thumb rest is more appealing of the two. As far as the surface treatment goes, both MX Master and Shimitar has a coating. Having used both, my conclusion is that the matte finishing on Shimitar feels better. It is an oil magnet and you'll not be able to keep it the way it looks out of the box. The odds are you will probably not care either because it continues to feel good. With regards to the buttons, there are numerous. That is the draw card of the mouse. By most part, it all feels good. The right and left click definitely feels better than that of Logitech. Two buttons behind the scroll wheel can be pressed easily as well. By default, it wants to DPI switch. I personally set it as volume adjustment. The 12 buttons on the side, the main event, has two issues. One, I mean the button marked one, it is so close to the bottom that at times it is difficult to press it. Again, I don't like the idea of finger rubbing against the mouse pad while the mouse is in motion. Seems to me they knew about this issue and still they decided to cut the button smaller to fit that space. Notice the button 4 right next to it is larger. Yes, a small issue but an annoying one. Next is the altering texture on the keycaps on each row. That was meant to be a guide to let the user know where the finger is. It does no such thing. And again, unwanted sensation that we could do without. The smooth buttons feels good and the rough ones feel out of place. If they wanted to achieve a guiding effect, they should have invested more in developing the ergonomy. Mind you, I'm being a bit harsh with my criticism, yes, 
On the balance side of things, I will be explaining in a bit how this 12 button saves the mouse too. So hang in there. Next, the scroller. The middle button click feels good with just enough force needed to actuate without scrolling unnecessarily. The issue here is that Corsair did not make a wheel worthy of a flagship. It's basically plastic wheel with rubber ring on the outside. Now, it does a good job of not slipping, but that's about it. The step-by-step -step motion of the scroll wheel I would have liked to have a bit lighter resistance, simply because scrolling a long document becomes a bit of an effort. This is where Logitech kills it. With regards to scroll wheel, Logitech holds a lot of patents, so others are somewhat blocked. And on top of that, the combo of metal wheel with hyper scroll, it's a knockout. Even a much cheaper Logitech mouse with hyper scroll is better. Hence I say, Corsair, as good as this plastic wheel may be, this is not flagship material. The sensor is optical, and by most part, day-to-day -day use appears to be better than that of MX Master, which had a good laser sensor to begin with. Even when the MX Master is connected using a USB cable, it does not perform as well as the Shimitar. This is good praise for Shimitar. But many may not find this surprising because a laser sensor is not automatically superior to optical sensor, or at least not now that is. There is a misconception that laser is better just because well, it is laser. Flip side of optical sensor is that it does not work on glass or shiny surfaces, etc., which the MX Master does. The sensor has been advertised to go all the way up to 12,000 dpi. For Corsair, it looks great on websites and advertisements, and it's a salesman's delight. 12,000 dpi. Is it adding full value for the user? Uh, that is doubtful. I know asking for innovation is too much, but surely this was the golden opportunity for Corsair to do a optical laser hybrid or dual sensor, or, which would have made more real life benefits or bring best of both worlds. Something to ask for. Maybe. Maybe in the next version. Perhaps. For gaming purposes, the sensor did as well as we would expect. Good straight lines, precise and jitter free. Bottom line is, controversial or not. Scimitar has a good sensor. Let's just leave it at that. Now from this point on, things will start looking a bit better, as I will start exploring how this mouse begins to redeem itself. Before we do that, a few words from our sponsor. Your wedding is the most special day. A celebration to remember. Immortalize your memories in a video. You want the best and nothing but the best. You want Enchanted Films to capture this precious occasion. Enchanted Films offers the flexibility to suit your individual need and has the experience to cater for all kinds of functions. Enchanted Films, the premier provider of video production. Here comes some good stuff. Let's start with the combination of side buttons and the Corsair Utility Engine software. Let's just call it Utility for short. You see, Shimitar, like many of its competitors, is a hardware-software combo. We need to consider the total package. The utility has that many features and how all that can be used, it will need a separate 15 minutes video to discuss everything. Let's cover the basics. First order of business is to discuss the lights. To be precise, there are four areas that can be made to pulse, alternate or stay solid, etc. The one light that faces you directly is used to indicate DPI setting. And the utility gives us a lot of different ways to customize features of these lights from visual feedback for our actions as well. For example, based on profile or mode, we can completely change lighting arrangement. For every button press, there can be some visual element associated as well. Now about the action editor. At first, it appears a little bit daunting and the layout of the window could have been a little bit better. Anyhow, this is where we can really be creative and add simple or complex uses for the mouse. The macro recorder can record both mouse movements and keyboard keystrokes with or without time durations. 
I'm going to sidetrack a little bit and mention AutoHotkeys, a free to use open source macro utility. I've been using this for a while now. So how does this apply to Shimitar? Well, the Corsair's tool for macro is decent, but AutoHotkeys goes tad a bit deeper into the world of automation, especially great for those with programming skills. So originally, I was calling the macros using the keyboard. Now I have those macros attached to the side buttons. Need more buttons? Switch mode and we have more buttons. And we can mode switch from the mouse too. Just assign a button to the switch and off we go. Not only that, you can set profiles to switch from one application to other automatically. Though I have had limited success with this, but I do appreciate the notion. It would have been nice if profile switched as I move from video editor to audio editor and I have different sets of button assignments at my disposal which I do I switch manually this is also where lighting scheme can come in handy as profile switches we have a visual info of how the mouse is set up in a nutshell out of the box it's a mouse with lot of potential once you are done with customization it's a proper swiss army knife with regards to comparison i have to mention razer naga everything about macros that i spoke of can also be achieved by the naga there are some principal difference between the two but for argument's sake current amazon price for naga is 57 dollars and 69.99 for shimitar a 21 percent price difference for updated prices i've left the links in the description so what is my opinion after a few months of use well though i do not agree with a lot of things with the scimitar i still find it fantastic between the mx master and the scimitar my personal choice is scimitar and i say this while my current desk is all glass the mx master had a clear advantage as it worked flawlessly on this surface as I said earlier, the overall package that Scimitar offers brings more to the table, quite literally. With regards to this gentleman, he is not our friend. Marketing. I have to say a few words about it since Salesberg was a registered reseller of Corsair branded items. We used to stock majority of Corsair items that was available in Australia. So from that perspective, I am unhappy that Corsair is trying to squeeze more money out of the buyers by practically any means possible. For example, they added metal at the bottom that we cannot see generally and has no mentioned function, yet it adds to the cost. So I express my clear dislike for asking for more money for no good reason. Stuck in capitalism are we? Hopefully in the next version, Corsair can drop items that does nothing like this superhero and make products that are truly innovative and ergonomically second to none. I look forward to that and we will be here to praise it. As far as Scimitar goes, despite me being very harsh, I maintain that it is a decent product. I will continue to use it until Corsair makes something far superior and Corsair please make something far superior at half the price. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. What you liked or disliked about this video, please leave a note on the comment section below and please do also remember to subscribe. Currently, we are also in Patreon. Your contributions will go directly to producing more videos such as this. So, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.